So let's start with a rule that is called MVC model view controller. So the model view controller says that you must have three sheets at least in your Excel dashboard. The first one contains a raw data. The second one contains the formulas or your workings. The, the numbers you want to extract from the data with the help of Excel functions. So in this particular video tutorial, we will be using very less formulas and our aim is to uh, use either no formula and maximize the features and create a dashboard. So we have a separate sheet of data, then we have a separate sheet for the formulas and the numbers to get from the data and the last one more sheet for the dashboard where all the visuals will combine together and we will be applying some designing rules. So the MVC stands for that at least a user should have three sheets. Don't put all the stuff in one sheet like data formulas and dashboard in entire one sheet this will create a mess for you the another rule is called the crack rule which is an acronym contrast repetition alignment and proximity so there are some techniques in order to uh, divert the attention of the audience towards the dashboard so they can focus on main part of the dashboard first and other in the remaining time so we have some techniques to do it and these are related to the this crap rule. So we will learn that how to use crap rule in dashboards. So C stands for contrast. Now, for example, in this particular example, here in example, there are four boxes which are of same colors. So as an audience perspective, anyone can see any box at any time. But if what if we want to make sure that all the audience or, or the people who are watching that dashboard can focus on one part and how we can divert their attention. So there are some techniques, changing the color, either create a border to that shape or object, change the shape, change the size, orientation, or the distance of the objects. So these are some of the techniques in which you can make a, an object a bit different so that it should be focused first when a user see a dashboard. So contrast by is related to a changing in color, thickness, shape, size, position, and distance. In the crap rule, R stands for repetition. So here you can see a dashboard which is created in Power BI. So it's related to training feedback analytics. And you can see a repetition of colors, repetition of fonts, repetition of ideas or visuals. So repetition is also important because if you don't repeat the ideas, visuals, colors, or the fonts, it will be very fancy and it will be of no more use and the audience or the user will not be more focused on the dashboard. So it's very important to repeat some of the objects like color, visual elements, fonts, and ideas. In the crap rule, the third alphabet is A, which is the alignment. So it's very necessary to align all the objects properly, horizontal, vertically, so that our attention should not divert on the distance of between the objects, but moreover, we should focus on the relevant object and put them in a sequence that the most important one should be on top. And the approach of top to bottom, you should add visuals or the charts according to the requirement and the priority in the dashboard. So alignment is very necessary. The last one is the proximity which says that the item close together are likely to be perceived as a part of same group. There should be a relationship. There should be a meaning with the visuals. So without me, visuals or a visual which is creating too much noise should be eliminated. So when you apply the contrast, repetition, alignment to all together and you form a dashboard for a specific purpose, for example, in this slide, you can see a sales performance dashboard. All the visuals are related to each other and they are creating a proximity, a meaning to it. So this means that you have created a right dashboard. So proximity is related to the ideas, messages, and data. Personally, the most is uh, the 
PDF file which is available for the public is from SQL BI uh, the 15 design rules for a perfect dashboard so whenever I create a dashboard I consider these 15 rules in my mind so that I can come up with a good design right so every rule is very important and you need to understand every rule in order to create these kind of such advanced dashboards 